People often ask me if they can get all the minerals from the foods they eat. The sad fact is you cannot. Our food production system is mineral depleted. That's because for 50 years, we've been growing plants in the same soil over and over again. It's one thing to get nitrogen back in the soil. It's another thing to get minerals back in the soil. So what do we do? We have to supplement because the only way you can get minerals into your body is by ingesting them. So what do people do? They supplement. So you go to the pharmacy or maybe your grocery store and you walk down the mineral aisle and you start getting some calcium and potassium and magnesium and maybe someone told you you need chromium and of course you need zinc for your immune system and maybe you need selenium and you need you know a whole passel of other pills, maybe some electrolyte drinks, powders, different things like that. And you take them all home and then every day you pile up the pills and you drink them. And here's the problem, it's not effective. And this is the most amazing thing that I learned when I did my research is that the mineral replenishment system in your body is miraculous. It's very, very complex. Once you understand it, you can actually replenish minerals in your body in a way that can make a difference for you. So let's break it down into some really simple steps. To get minerals into your body in a way that your body can actually utilize them, you have to get the minerals broken down, absorbed into your bloodstream, and then into your cells. Most minerals actually don't do much for your body at all in your bloodstream. They have to get into your cells where they become available for the mitochondria to utilize in energy generation. In fact, your entire body, all the energy generation that happens in your body happens in the mitochondria using minerals and amino acids. It's absolutely astounding when you begin to understand it. So what happens when you take all these pills and powders? Well, first of all, most of those minerals are all made from rocks, shells, and bones. Do you think your digestive system is well evolved to digest those things? Not actually. So only about 10 to 12% of those minerals in pills, powders, flavored drinks in that form actually gets digested, ready for absorption. But let's be really optimistic and we'll say 12%. So 12%, it becomes available for absorption into your bloodstream. And then it all depends on the health of the epithelial layer in your gut. And many of us, due to environmental toxins, due to all sorts of inflammation, the lining of our gut is not that healthy. So we may struggle with absorption, getting those minerals into the blood. But again, we'll be really optimistic and we'll say maybe 10% of those minerals actually get absorbed into your bloodstream. Well, now they have to get into your cells. And most of us don't have a very effective way of getting those minerals into the cells because we have very few of what are called flavonoids. Flavonoids are these really cool molecules they're much smaller than a cell and they're transporters. They carry the minerals into the cells. And in the case of fulvic, they drop them off inside the cell available for the mitochondria to utilize. Let's say that you got 10% of those minerals into your cell, only maybe 5% ever ends up getting into the cells and utilized. Now, Let's change the paradigm completely and let's look at it a different way. We have these substances and they're called plant-based minerals. Imagine an entire rainforest that's dissolved down to an incredibly mineral rich substance over millennia. And that mineral rich substance is called humate. And inside humate, you have these two molecules, fulvic and humic. These are Mother Earth's technology for mineral replenishment. And here's how they work. The humic molecule hangs out in your bloodstream and it does a really cool thing. It interacts with the cell wall and it opens more channels. 
they call they actually say it makes water wetter because in opening more channels more minerals more water can go in and out of your cell then there's the fulvic molecule it has a really different capacity it's that flavonoid and it has a capacity that only fulvic has no other molecule on earth does it can change its polarity and it's really cool. It carries minerals into your cell, then it changes its polarity and those things drop off inside your cell. Now they're available for utilization by the mitochondria for energy production. Then what clings to them are the bio waste, toxins, things that your body is ready to get rid of and it carries those out of the cell. Then it changes its polarity again and it drops those off in the bloodstream where the humic molecule, the really large molecule, gathers those up and carries them out of your body altogether. So not only can you not get the minerals from the foods you eat, you also are eating toxins, which your body has no way to get rid of. If you wanna solve the problem of mineral depletion in your system, and you wanna see what it feels like to literally come alive from the inside, I recommend trying these plant-based minerals, which are the truly the only really effective mineral replenishment and detoxification tool we've got.